We generally got through the game reasonably well. Uh, obviously, we had Dylan Stevens and James Rowbottom who backed up after the VFL game and played full games in the AFL. They both threw, came through the game with any issues, which was fantastic to see. Um, really good effort from both the young boys. Uh, we had a couple of knocks. Um, Tom Hickey received a big knock to the ribs. Uh, no significant damage done off the back of that. And then also Nick Blakey rolled his ankle just late in the fourth quarter. Uh, it's put up quite well, better than, better than we probably expected. And so Nick's no risk for the game this weekend. Uh, obviously, we also had the four players that were unable to play off the, um, off the COVID issue. Uh, so they're now in isolation at the moment. Harry Cunningham, Callum Sinclair, Callum Mills and Colin O'Reardon. Uh, they've got a program around them at the moment, sort of a large strength focus, doing some off-legs conditioning, uh, what bikes and some skipping, those types of exercises. We're really confident in the program that our conditioning team has put around them and hope that they're going to be available once they leave isolation. Obviously a pretty challenging uh, rehab period for Louis Melican. Uh, he initially started with, with hamstring strain, off the back of that developed some Achilles tendon pain as well. Uh, fortunately both have fully recovered now, uh, he's expected to play uh, in our VFL game this weekend. Yeah, Chad's uh, finally sort of back in training and doing a lot of conditioning based work. Um, he's training fully with the team, uh, getting his training loads back up to the point where we expect him to play within the next fortnight. They both Sam and, and Braden obviously played in the VFL game on the weekend, uh, both on some limited minutes. Uh, both went really well though, given the conditions. It was pretty warm and, and windy out there in the VFL game. Uh, both guys got through the game well and are available again this weekend.